And that now leads us to our saint of the week. Our favorite saint of the week. Are you ready for this? Our, our favorite, favorite saint, saint of the week, week is... is... Saint Polycarp of Smyrna. Yes, St. Polycarp of Smyrna, his feast day was on the 23rd, and that was a Monday. And he really is one of our favorite saints, isn't he? Let's read a bit about him. Uh, Polycarp of Smyrna was born about 69 A.D., and he died about 155 A.D. He is the Bishop of Smyrna. He's a martyr. He's one of the foremost leaders of the church in the 2nd century. What we know about him comes from various sources, including the martyrdom of Polycarp, which was recorded by uh, somebody who observed the event. Stephen Ray. <laughs> yeah, he covers that, doesn't he? It is believed, however, that he was converted to the faith by St. John, the evangelist, uh, one of the apostles, about the year 80, and became a bishop of Smyrna about 96 A.D. Um, he was a friend of uh, St. Ignatius of Antioch, one of the most important, inter and these two were the most important inter intermediate links between the apostolic and the patristic eras in the church. They are the, connecting, uh, the connection between the apostles and later fathers. He is a defender of orthodoxy. He opposed such heretical groups as the Massonites and the Valentinians. He also authored a surviving epistle to the Philippians, um, which demonstrated uh, the New Testament text because he quoted from Matthew, he quoted from Luke, he quoted from Acts of the Apostles, uh, the first letters of Peter and John. When Ignatius, his friend, was taken to Rome to be put to death, he wrote to Polycarp. And Polycarp himself later, after Ignatius died and was eaten by uh, wild beasts, he himself was arrested by a Roman officials in Smyrna soon after returning from a trip to Rome to discuss the late date of Easter. The date of Easter. He refused to be um, to give up the faith, and he told his captains that he had served Christ. Do you remember this part? Yeah. For 86 years, and after he gives his very eloquent speech, the Romans burned him alive with 12 of his companions. Um, his, his death was recorded, recorded also by Eusebius of uh, Caesarea, oh, he didn't another church die father. From the, <laughs> he didn't die from the fire. They killed him with a club. Mm. Irenaeus actually writes about him. Irenaeus, um, also a church father, and it's talks about how he would sit his, at his feet. So, Polycarp is a very important saint. He's a very inspirational saint. Um, and it's, he's very beloved, especially uh, among us. And he's relevant to the news stories we hear. We, we're, we're hearing uh, even now of martyrdoms, uh, of killing of Christians all over the Middle East and the places where Polycarp lived. And that's happening today, and I think he can be an inspiration to them, and he can also awaken us to such horrific events and inspire us to pray for them and to look at them as courageous people. All right? Yeah.